assalamu alaikum students this lecture is for the class 5th subject of social studies and i am your concerned teacher nazma rahim today we will discuss about how to communicate or the communication how to communicate that means how we talk to each other how we are interacting to each other how we relate to each other as humans what are the sources or, or what are the ways through which we can communicate to each other let's begin the topic so we can say that communication is the exchange of information or ideas between the people we can say that communication means exchange the information or the ideas between the people or the one who has some information or so who has some ideas in his or her mind will communicate to other people and also share information share ideas or exchange ideas and this happens between the people so how we communicate we communicate when we talk to our friends our family our neighbors our elders our younger brothers or sisters or anyone else either face to face or over the telephone not only over the telephone but through the different sources that we will discuss later but first of all we will communicate to each other when we talk to each other when we have conversation to each other either through face to face or through telephone telephone is the best communication we have in this 21st century now another we communicate while face to face when we are face to face or or telephone not only telephone on or by face to face but we can communicate by writing a letter or by sending an email writing a letter is through post offices post boxes but or by sending an email we can also write a letter or send an email through our uh, computer systems or through our telephones or the smartphone uh, smartphones android phones these are the ways whether face to face whether on the telephone whether writing a letter or by sending an email these are sources of communication while we communicate to each other or when we want to um, talk to our friends our families our neighbors we can talk to them or we can communicate to them with by face to face by uh, writing a letter to them or by sending an email or uh, through phones when someone is far from us from or delhi that example someone is in delhi someone is in usa or in any any other part of the world we can communicate easily through sending an email or through writing a letter or the telephone or i phones these are the best mobile phones are the best things or the best source of communication now another source of uh, communication are news advertisements and other programs on the radio or television or also the form of communication these are also forms of communication whether we see news on the television whether we see the whether we see the advertisement on the uh, television or on the uh these boards or we can see the different programs on the radio and television or the best forms of communication or the other forms of communication through them through the radio through television we can also communicate we can also communicate our news our ideas our messages to our friends to our colleagues to our family these are also sources of communication so we can say all living things communicate with each other not only humans humans communicate by face to face by telephone by radio by television by sending an email by writing a letter all these are sources of communication or communicating to each other but living things are also there like the animals like the plants they can communicate with each other it's because of the allah how he has created this all these thing how living things communicate with each other it's because of the Al- almighty allah there are different forms or different scenes of communication 
we humans communicate because of these sources and animals communicate in their own language they understand or they share their information in their own language because allah has given them their own sense and we are as humans as ashraf al makhluqat we have our own senses how we communicate with each other if we look at the earlier time earlier messages were sent over long distance through pigeons or horses you have heard from your parents or grandparents that before uh, many years the messages were sent through the long distance messages were sent through the pigeons and horses because at that time the technology was not very much developed development was very less in uh, this uh, communication not only communication in many forms but communication was not as much developed as it is in this 21st century pigeons and horses were the source of uh putting a message or giving a message from one place to another place and then the development in the communication started and now we have different sources of communication through which we can communicate to each other but earlier were pigeons and horses this also the postcard or the postal service is also a source of communication because the postal services made the task of sending messages much e- easier as the development in communication started the postcard or the postal service also developed in in the world or in but like in we can say in india also this postal service developed very rapidly and now the communication has evolved very much today the communication system is much easier cheaper as compared to early times we will see, this was the introduction of the how to communicate or the communication or what are the source of communication in the later uh, topic uh, later lectures we will discuss how are the different sources or how different sources help us to communicate with each other what are those uh, sources no no doubt uh, communicating while face to face communication through telephone the communication through sending emails or communication through writing a letter postal services these all are the also sources of communication or communicating to each other but this communication has evolved time and again because in earlier times there was very much less uh, exposure to this communication the communication was not much there people interact with each other through pigeons and horses by giving them letter and they were the long distance was there and they go there with these letters because of the pigeons and horses so we can say that communication is talking to each other communication is sharing ideas to each other exchange of ideas or exchange of information to each other communication means sharing opinions communication means talking to each each other while in conversation or in face to face or through telephone or through other sources of uh, communication or the means of communication this was the introduction of this unit how to communicate in the next lecture we will see the other topic also thank you